Hi, I'm Colette Sadler, a choreographer and performer based between Glasgow and Berlin. I have a primarily choreographic practice. I did start out originally as a performer and dancer and over the last 15 years I've focused on developing choreographies. My choreographic practice is focusing mostly on the relationships between human and non-human. I'm doing that as a way to open up new imaginaries around bodies and their potential to represent speculative future imaginaries, to retell narratives, to create new ways of understanding movement, of creating new perceptual fields for the way in which we, we look and understand the body. And my choreographic practice is something that extends beyond dance and also involves interdisciplinary aspects so I'm working across media. I understand choreography is something that can be applied to video, to the use of objects, to images. So um, for me choreography is a kind of a holding structure that allows me to compose and organise time and space in a specific way. I think what interests me most about the industry or let's say dance as a practice or choreography as a practice is just that we're, we're starting to extend beyond or to widen our understanding of what choreography is and where it might live or how we can extend the notion of choreography beyond the body to like as I said working within social fields, working in non-dance environments, working in the visual art. So for me I guess what's most interesting about choreographic practice right now is how it relates to interdisciplinary practice to other media and its implication in social context. I think that it's very difficult to fail in this profession because you're failing in plain sight and when one starts one's choreographic career you feel as if every piece you do has to be you know spot on, it has to be ready for the market, it has to be something you can sell and I do remember there was a time, there was one piece that I made that I would consider a failure and it was a failure for many different reasons that were within and out with my control. So I really suffered in a way because it was difficult to present that work. But I also understood that failure is also part of what it is to be an artist and that once you've failed, you, you know what it is and it also helps you to learn and helps you to develop. So, you know, this pressure to kind of always produce this perfect thing is difficult and something that we live with, but we also have to allow ourselves to fail even when it's painful. I would say you have to have a great love of what you do because it's not easy to stay on this path, you know. I mean, I've been dancing since I was three and a half and I'm now quite a bit older and I've often felt just like I, I had to I had to do it it was something that was so important to me it wasn't just about a hobby it was like part of my life so I think loving what you do respecting what you do trusting yourself finding your place in this profession which won't look like anybody else's place but finding your place and your love for what you do will help you to get through all the difficulties and the traumas because you love yourself and you love your work.